I have a confession to make. I really, really struggle to finish book series. I don't know what it is, but I will read the first book in the series and then even if I enjoyed it, I'll avoid reading the second book in the series like The Plague. So this month we're going to get to the bottom of this together, because not only am I going to figure out why this happens, I'm going to try and combat it too. I'm talking science, practical tips and an experiment. How exciting. First things first, before we can figure out why this happens, let's take a look at the damage. I've been hard at work this week organising all of my unread book series into a spreadsheet. I know. Ew. Essentially, I've named the book series, I've started and added a way to track if I've read each book in the series or not. I'm not adding 0.5 books, by the way, just so we're clear. Nobody has time for that. I've also not included books in a series beyond 10. I'm looking at you, Princess Diaries. Then I've added a handy column so I can see if I actually want to continue with the series or not. After scouring all of the series I've started and not finished, I have a handy total of 11 series I've finished and 77 unfinished series. I broke this down so it wasn't quite so overwhelming. 19 series I want to finish. 13 I also want to finish, but the next book isn't out yet. 13 I'm unsure about and 32 I've decided I don't want to finish. I have my work cut out. I don't know how this compares to your unread series, but to me that's quite overwhelming. So before we get into the challenge, let's address the science, because while this is happening to me and will probably continue to happen to me, it might also be happening to you too. So let's figure out why. If you're a completionist, you probably don't have this problem. You know, the type of person to gather all the achievements in a video game or visit all the countries of the world. But for those of us who struggle, I've enlisted the help of someone you might recognize to get to the bottom of this. Hey, science. Yes. Me and my friends would like to know why it's so hard to finish a book series. Are we just lazy? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'll demonstrate why this might be the case with a study. A neuroscience study done in 2020 showed that many participants were willing to avoid mental effort if the alternative was physical pain. The study gave the participants the option of doing a mental letter puzzle or experiencing a painful temperature on their skin. The more difficult the mental letter puzzle got, the more participants chose the pain on their skin instead. Showing the unpleasantness of mental effort was comparable to that of physical pain. Okay, but what does that have to do with books? I'm getting to that. Sorry. Think about one of those series you haven't finished yet. Finishing that series probably feels like a huge task, especially if the series is long. Yeah, have you seen how long The Princess Diaries is? No. What I'm trying to say is that the task to your brain seems large. It's difficult. Reading another book, say a standalone or starting a new series, seems like the easier option, so you'll most of the time pick that instead. Oh, so I'm not lazy then. Okay. Thank you, science. Well, science said it best. We're avoiding reading these long series because we're struggling to fight against how our brains work. But while science does have a few answers, I have a few more of my own. The first book in a series is usually pretty dang epic. It has to be to keep you reading. It's also usually one of the shortest. Just take a look at the Wheel of Time series and you'll see what I mean. The excitement that comes with starting a new series is a really great feeling. After all, you're getting introduced to the world, the characters, and the general plot. It's new and shiny. By the time the second book rolls around, depending on how long the series is, it's essentially a setup book for the next book in the series. It's usually longer, maybe slightly more boring, and doesn't have the shiny new feeling you got from the previous book. All of this, at least for me, dampens the excitement I once felt about reading the series. I still want to read the second or third book because the series is good, I'm just not quite as excited about it. So we've seen my state of play and we've understood how it happens, now let's take action. I've taken a look at my unread series list and I've picked a few books I think that I can start and finish within this month, and I have them here. First, I have Anansi Boys, which is the follow on from American Gods, and I just so happen to unwrap this in my TBR Brown Paper Challenge, so I'll be reading that first. Next, we have the two books that follow on from Howl's Moving Castle. I read Howl's Moving Castle fairly recently, so I would love to read these two 
And the good news is they're not too long, so I could get through them. Next, we have two eBooks. The first one is The Ashes and the Star, which follows on from The Serpent and the Wings of Night, which I also read as an eBook, so I thought, why not? And then we have Two Twisted Crowns, which follows on from One Dark Window, which I also read this year. So I thought, why not make that an eBook too? So if I manage to read all of these, I will have four completed series by the end of the month. I'm gonna read these alongside all the other books that I kind of have to read this month, so we'll see how far I get, but I will film and give you an update at the end of the month to see how I did. For now, if you would like to join me in this challenge, come join my Discord and let's update each other there. I will even share my spreadsheet so you can use it too. For now, I guess I should swap this standalone book for one of these and get to it. 